Light that spark fire nation. JLD here with an audio masterclass on discovering the most profitable skill in the world. To drop these value bombs, I have brought Dan Locke on the mic. Dan started from nothing and is now a multi-millionaire. He got to start with just a handful of high income skills. Now he helps others do the same. And today, Fire Nation, we're going to talk about the single most important high income skill that anybody can develop to make a lot of money, grow a real business, and eventually give back. We'll talk about how to predictably and reliably turn $1 into 5 and a new way to make quote-unquote doctor income before noon, and then spend the rest of the day doing what it is you want. And so much more, Fire Nation, as soon as we get back from thanking our sponsors. Fire Nation, you're trying to grow your business, but the white space in your calendar says otherwise. If you're interested in learning how you can get a virtual assistant to book you five to 10 appointments a day, then this free training is for you. Visit scalingwithsystems.com slash cash to sign up today. Scalingwithsystems.com slash cash. Looking for a business coach who has helped thousands of entrepreneurs just like you to increase their profitability by an average of 104% per year, all for less money than it would cost to hire a full-time minimum wage employee? Schedule your free consultation today with Clay Clark at thrivetimeshow.com slash fire. Thrivetimeshow.com slash fire. Dan, say what's up to Fire Nation and share something interesting about yourself that most people don't know. What's up, Fire Nation? Uh, well, one of the things that I think people don't know is one of the things on my bucket list is I want to learn how to drift. Huh. <laughs> how to drift. So recently, uh, I bought a car, which is like manual, sure. and I'm learning how to, how to drift, and I'm, I'm planning to make a little, you know, video series on YouTube, actually documenting this whole process from not knowing how to drive manual to learning how to drift. So that's a little something that people don't know. Wow. Well, I can't wait to see the Instagram slow-mo video once you figure that out and you get that Tokyo drift down. If I don't crash, John, if I don't crash, <laughs> then hit anything, hopefully. <laughs> oh, man. Well, please don't because we have more episodes to record on Entrepreneurs on Fire in the future years, just like you have a lot of stuff going on in your world as well. And Fire Nation, as I share, we'll be talking about discovering the most profitable skill in the world. I mean, who doesn't want that skill? So, Dan, let's just break it down, brother. What is the single most important high income skill that anyone can develop if, and this is a big if, they want to make a lot of money, grow a real business, and eventually give back. It is the ability to persuade in print. Mm. I call that copywriting. Now, John, many years ago when I first learned this from my first mentor, Alan, uh, when he said to me, hey, Dan, because at the time I was struggling, right? I was in my early 20s. I had just failed many businesses. And when he took me under his wings, he said, Dan, I'm going to give you one of the most valuable and most profitable skills in the world that will transform your life. It doesn't matter what you want to do. You want to launch a business. You want to generate more income. I'm going to teach this to you. I said, what is that? He said, it's the art of copywriting. And I thought, John, copywriting, I thought it has to do with like copyright. Right. I I thought it's like, are you going to teach me like legal, patent, like (laughs) trademark stuff? I, I don't want to be a lawyer. What is this thing? He said, no. He said, Dan, look around you. He said, everything that you do, think about any single, every single product that you want to buy, whatever you want to buy, the clothes, the brand, everything that you do, someone from somewhere created that brand. Someone wrote a copy, something that you see from an infomercial, something you see from from online, from direct mail back in the days. Everything is copy, right? These are the silent ringmakers behind the scenes that actually makes things work. A speech is written by a copywriter. A movie is written by a copywriter. You may not think about it that way, but we see this every day, right? So as an entrepreneur, think about like John, the podcast, the title, the headline, that's copywriting. The email sent out, it's copy. Your your show note, that's copy, right? The the ad that you run, that's copy. The content you create, that's copy. Right. It's all sales copy. And it's one of it's one of those things where it's so powerful and so profitable, but no one thinks about it. We kind of just live in it. Now, the ones who are in the know, you know, and I know 
how powerful this skill is. Like in terms of, let's say your business, right? Entrepreneurs on fire. How important copy is to your business? It's everything. It is everything. Right. So it's like, and, but people don't think about it. People don't, don't, they don't, they don't pay attention to it. And what's interesting is they think that copywriting, one of the biggest myths is they think it has to do with writing. Actually, it has nothing to do with writing. Isn't that interesting? It's the biggest myth. I define copywriting as closing in print because, you know, I, I train closers, right. right? It's a form of closing. It's not writing. It is about using the power of the written words to influence and persuade, right, to communicate your message. It has to do with actually closing and selling. It's not about the writing because if it is about writing, then all the highest paid copywriters will be from like will be the, the English teachers right. from school. Right. They will be the professors. But that's not the case. It has to do with understanding what what makes people buy. And most people don't know why people buy. Right. And and understand what what motivates people to take action. I always say that it's not the thing. It's the thing that sells the thing. If you can use your words, Fire Nation, to persuade people via copywriting, the world is your oyster. And I love, Dan, how you put those words together. Copywriting is closing in print. Think about those words. It's closing in print. It's so good. And now, Dan, there's this new kind of writing, this new kind of writing that business owners are, frankly, they're desperate for it. What is it? Okay. So think about where uh, back in the days, right? We're talking <laughs> for some of the Fire Nation, you, you, it's like, what is this? Like we're thinking with direct mail, <laughs> like, you know, the, the, you know the, the envelope thing that you get in, in the mailbox, right. if you still have a mailbox, right? So back in the days, we have copywriting and, and we, I learned copywriting like from, from those type of styles, right? The, what I call traditional, old school, right? The long copy, long form copy, or the high P copy. You know what I mean? Like, you know, how, how to make X amount of dollars in X amount of days. And like, I call them high P copy. And back in the days, you could get away with a lot of that stuff simply because you don't have a lot of issues. But, Fast forward today, if you want to advertise on social media, you pretty much, if it's not Facebook, if it's not Google, like where else do you go, right? Yes, you can still do the podcast, but I'm talking about running ads, right? If you want to scale your traffic, you want to scale your offers, you want to put your offer in front of a lot of people, you pretty much like Facebook and Google, you, you got to work with these guys. And this is speaking from experience, right? Because we were scaling a company massively through Facebook and Google. Like there was some months, John, uh, we were spending a million dollars a month on ads, a wow. million dollars a month, right? That's like most people don't make a million. We're spending a million a month, right? <laughs> right. right? Some big checks. And and you might think I'm, I'm writing a big check to Facebook. They should love me, right? Problem is now because of Facebook, because of what's happening, right, that they're under a lot of scrutiny, right? So now... Facebook, the ads that used to work, they don't work anymore. Huh. So for a lot of a lot of people, like if you, you're listening to this, Fire Nation, if you've ever run any kind of Facebook ads, have you ever been disapproved? Right? Have you ever had your ads like running suddenly, they just disapproved, you can't run that anymore. And you don't even know why. You know, what happened? Like I've got this offer that's converting, it's all good. No, disapprove. Worst case scenario, you've had your account shut down. Right? I've had both, right? Um, and the more you spend, the more, with more, more strict they are. So what happens is now you want to scale your traffic. You've got, let's say you've got, John, you've got an offer that works. You know, you spend a dollar, you're going to get $3 back, right? It's working so well. You just need more people to see it, but you can't run it because Facebook is not allowing, allowing you to run it. And you, it's like, okay, so what do you want from me, Facebook? I want to spend money with you, but you don't let me run the ads. Like, what, what, what do you want from me? Because nowadays they want what I call compliant Ooh. copy. I call that scalable copy. Okay. So we need to take the proven principles from the past. That is the, you know, people buy because of emotions. They justify with logic. We use, you know, the, the benefit. We have all those things, but you need at the new subtleties. We're talking about five, 10% difference. This is the difference between you can run ads to scale your business and not running ads at all. Doesn't matter how good your offer is. 
right? And a lot of business owners, a lot of entrepreneurs, they struggle with this. They don't know. They, I, I, I set up an account. Why, why, why my, my, ad, my ads are getting disproved? Because it's not compliant. Mm. And here's the thing. Facebook has the compliance policy and all that, but it's all illegal me- mumbo jumbo. You don't understand what it means. Like, can I say this? Can I not say this? Now, this is speak like speaking from like the school hot knocks, right? So we, I did a lot of testing. I'm like, how, how come my ads, like I would have like a hundred ads that are running. And suddenly one day I have 50% of them shut down, Oof. like disapproved. I'm like, what the heck is going on? <laughs> or I have an ad that's like producing so great of a return. And at the minute I want to, let's say spending a hundred bucks a day. Suddenly I want to spend a thousand bucks a day. It gets disapproved. So I got very frustrated. So then I wonder, I said, I got to figure this out because the ones, the business owners who could figure this out and your competitors don't know how to do this. Think about the edge that you have. Now here's what's, here's the million dollar question. Think about how many business owners out there in the middle of COVID, then need to pivot, then need to market online, then need to scale the business, then need to scale the revenue. How much are they willing to pay someone? To write what I call so social media compliant, right? Compliant, scalable copy. Now that's where the opportunity is. It's not just copywriting. It's a very specific kind of copywriting we're talking about here. Fire Nation, the answer is priceless. These businesses will go out of business if they can't figure out scalable copy. These businesses will go out of business if they can't figure out compliant copy. So the writers who understand the kind of copywriting that they can navigate the labyrinth of Facebook and the other social platforms right now, those are the winners. You can name your price because business owners are desperate for this. But why do even the best writers on the planet, Dan, struggle to do this type of writing that we're discussing right now? Because the old school, right? Because they learn from... That at the time, there's no Facebook. There's no, they don't need to follow these policies. So they could literally say, Hey, you know, here's a product. Let's say you're selling a weight loss product. Here's how you can lose, you know, 10 pounds in 30 days. Well, you can make, but now Facebook, no, 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 you can't promise that. You can't say that. Or there's certain types of, uh, shocking value statement where you, you can't, cause Facebook think, think of how Facebook think about stuff. They want people to stay on the platform. They want advertisers to advertise on the platform. That's how they make money, right? When you understand how they think, they don't like some certain messages in, let's say, in back in the days, uh, like full page newspaper. You can be very sensational about it, right? But on Facebook, they don't like that. They want you to almost tone down your message a bit, like not as much hype. That's the best way I could describe it. Not as much hype. A little bit more factual, no crazy promises, no crazy claims. Now, but the problem is, if you are an old school copywriter, that's all you know. Like the the the, the best example I could give you, uh, John, is this: Imagine someone who's like a a martial artist, a fighter. Okay, you're fighting on the street, like you know how to fight. Suddenly, now I put you in a in a ring. You put on those gloves. You put on protective gears. All the weapons that you have. No, you can't elbow. No, no, you can't kick. I'm sorry. Right, you can't do this. You can't do that. Well, how do you want me to fight? Right, that's what Facebook is. Right, but if you can crack that code, when you get that championship belt in in the boxing ring, that's worth like a lot. Um, and it's it's in it's something that nobody talks about. People don't understand how valuable this is, and it doesn't matter if they're business owners that offline going online. I'm talking about. Anyone that's doing any serious marketing on the internet, like us, right? We're influencers, uh, big time, big time e-com company. They all struggle with this. You talk to 10 of them, 10 of them have had, right? The uh, ads disapproved. And most don't know why. And I know why because I was spending money. Um, I'll tell you something, John. Very few people, few people know. Do you know Facebook actually has three different tiers of accounts? I bet you don't know that, right? I did not know that. Yeah, there are three tiers of accounts. So it depends on how much you spend. So you have the smaller accounts. So most advertisers, when you start small, spending a little bit of money, let's say whatever, tens of thousands a month. Tier you're one. You're like the you're tier one, the basic. When you're spending out of a threshold, like we're talking millions, then you're in tier two. You have a, I have a different dedicated account representative than other people, 
right? And then you have the, the highest tier, which is like Coca-Cola and those, the big companies, right? They have a different tier. Here's the thing. The more you spend, right, the more you want to scale, the more compliant your copy needs to be. <sighs> so if I'm a small advertiser, I could actually get away with quite a bit of stuff. Facebook is like you're, you're small fish. But the minute you get into – because the ads are now putting in front of millions of people, my stuff has to be that much more compliant, right, follow their policies, and really being like black and white that I'm not making crazy promises that 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 people are not, I'm not driving my the traffic to an offer that's questionable or a questionable business because that's the last thing that Facebook wants. They don't want to give the the eyeballs attention to someone that they don't think it's it's worthy of it. That's a, that's the best best way I could describe it, right? And that's how this works. And copywriting is so fascinating. Um, can I give you a, a just a quick demonstration? Yeah, please do. Right. So think about John. Think about, let's pretend you are a bas- a huge, huge basketball fan. Okay. Okay. Uh, and you're a huge Michael Jordan fan. Okay. Huge Michael Jordan fan. You've been following Michael a long time. Big fan. So let's say I say, hey, John, I have a pair of Air Jordans here. Ooh. Okay. Or oh, Air Jordans. Okay. Now, how much would you pay for it? Let's say you, you, you want it. You don't have it. How much would you pay for that? Just a pair $500. of Air Jordans. $500. Five hundred dollars. Here we go. Five hundred bucks. Okay. What if John has said, okay, here's a pair of Michael Jordans, but it's autographed, authentic by Michael Jordan. That Jordan actually signed this on this pair of shoes. Okay. Now, how much the value has gone up? Fifteen thousand dollars. Fifteen dollars. What if I said, John, like, assuming it, all this is true, what I'm saying, Jordan signed it, and he's actually. He wore it once when he was in what? whatever match. Jordan so Sweat. He, it's Jordan Sweat plus he signed it. How much this is worth? I'm up to $36,000 now. Now, just what if this Air Pair Jordan, not only he signed it, he wore it. He wore it the last match what? before he retired. And there's a photo caption, like well, a video cap, like, Capturing him taking off the shoes, the last match before he retired, and he autographed it, and it's authentic. It's certified by certificate. How much that is worth now? A hundred and fifteen thousand dollars. So here's a question, John. The intrinsic value of that pair of shoes has not changed. No. It's still a pair of shoes. It's the same feature, right? But what has changed? The story. Ooh. So think of what we did here. Suddenly, with story, I have not 5x, not 10x, not 20x, not a, like we're talking about 100x and more of the value of something that is essentially the same intrinsic value. That's why stories sell and facts tell, right? And most business owners, entrepreneurs, they don't understand at the end of the day, people buy don't buy products and services. They buy stories. But how often we're trained on how to craft stories, how to use stories to create more perceived value, how to use stories to be more persuasive. And then that's you know, one of the few things that we talked about. But you need to use stories in your copy so that you don't need to – like I don't need to hype it up to say, hey, this thing is worth a lot. Buy this. It's just, all I did is he's a story. To the right audience, assuming let's say you're a Jordan fan, you see the value. For someone who's not the right audience, they don't see the value. And that's fine. In marketing, we want to put the right offer in front of the right people, right? That's perfectly fine. But that's the power. Nothing has changed. That's why I said it's not the thing. It's the thing that sells the thing. So, Dan, I think you have Fire Nation salvating right now. And we're about to thank our sponsors, but I just don't want this to go too much further. So, Take a very short time frame right now because we're going to talk about this in length at the end of the episode, but you have created something very special, copywritersonfire.com. And again, this is just a short little tease right now because we're going to go into depth at the end of the episode on this. All of this and more is going to be discussed within copywritersonfire.com. Tell us more. Because of my pain out of dealing with Facebook and I had to figure out, okay, how do I scale my own companies, my, my offers, you know, my, my marketing? What do I need to do? And I was looking around with like, I was studying, trying to find books on, on this type of topic. Guess what? There isn't one. All the books, it's 
out of date, right? They don't talk about. They talk about how to advertise, but no one talks about how do I not get my ads disapproved? What do I need to do? So because I've trained so many students on the art of closing, right? How do you close on the phone? And this is another high income skill that I have, which is copywriting. I've been doing it since early twenties, my early twenties. So I put together, kind of compress my decades into days of how do I take proven marketing persuasion principles, but apply that into modern days. And I talk a lot about that on copywriters on fire. And it's a, a, a free training that you can attend. And at the end of the free training, if you want to get more information, you want to go deep dive into, you want to learn more from me on how I do these things. And every single thing that I teach is not from a book. It's what I do in my own company. I like, I will show you, here's the ad that I run. Here's the things that works. Here's the thing that doesn't work. And more importantly, it's how you can utilize this and actually develop a high income skill, be able to work remotely, generate income and provide for your family, helping businesses. Right with the copywriting, with the email. I'll give you a simple example, and this is a trick that I teach all my students. I'll teach it to you. Like this is something I talk about in in the, in the free training, but I'll, I'll teach this to you right now. Think about John. Let's say someone who has a let's say an email list of fifty thousand people. Now that's not a big list, right? John, your list is much much bigger yeah. than that, much bigger. But fifty thousand, wouldn't you say that's a reasonable, like decent small, maybe small size list? Yes, it is a good okay? list. Yeah, so fifty k. And let's say someone is doing, uh, sending emails. They've got a few offers, sending email to that list. And let's say they send out, mm, 10 emails, like 10 emails a month. And that's, they may, and let's say they generate, you know, $10,000 from that email list. Okay. That's pretty good. But what if as a, as a copywriter, you go in and you help them and say, Hey, instead of doing one email every, three days, what if we can not only engage your, not spamming them, but engage your reader and increase the limit to maybe do a daily email, an interesting, storytelling, compelling, engaging email. Every single day, you make a very soft plug of your offers. You increase the frequency. Now, instead of thir- uh, like 10 emails, you're doing 30 emails. Now, logically speaking, assuming the email is interesting, you have the same opening rate, it's logical thing you can double triple the revenue of yeah. the company just by increasing the frequency. So if you can, if a list of someone is making, let's say 10, 20, 30,000 a month, you can double, triple the revenue. Well, is it, do you think it's too much to ask if they pay you, let's say a hundred bucks per email that you write, right? You do, you help them to do 30 emails. You're making three K a month. Now here's the thing. If you follow like the way that I teach my system, you can craft an email in less than 30 minutes a day. So think about, I call that half hour workday. 30 minutes a day, you do one email, you do 30 emails, you're making $3,000 a month. Now, I know 3000 a month is not six-figure income a year, it's not 10 k a month, but how many would be happy, just like a, almost like a side hustle on the side, 3 k a month? Does that help to pay off the bills? Does that help to supplement some of your income? It's real money. Yeah, it, it's good money, right? So that's what, what but what if you take on, you can do more than, can you do more than 30 minutes a day? Ooh. Can you do an hour a day? Can you do an hour and a half a day? Can you take on three clients, right? Now you're talking some, some serious money. But here's the kicker. What's your overhead? Wow, you need your internet, your computer, but seriously, what's your overhead? It's right? almost nothing. It's nothing. And, and, and you are not like building your list. You don't have to create a product. You don't have to drive traffic. You don't have, no, because you're, you're piggybacking, you're leveraging the business owners. Right, what they have, and you're helping them to generate more revenue. That's why I said, I teach all my students. We are not in the writing business; we're in the revenue generating business. You help them generate revenue in exchange. They're more than happy to pay you a very decent amount of money, especially during the crisis, right? Because in good times, companies need, need revenue. In bad times. Companies need revenue. They really need revenue. <laughs> they really need revenue. So they will not have problems. So you are in, you're in command because you're in demand. There's a lot that Dan just said there, Fire Nation, that I hope you're understanding and digesting and absorbing. Um, he just actually shared, you know, a specific example that you're going to get on this free training, copywritersonfire.com. He's not going to be offering this free training forever. So definitely make sure you head over to copywritersonfire.com. Get this full free training. And a certain number of you are going to be like, this is exactly what I need. And then some of you are going to be like, 
this is what I need. Now I want to go deeper. I want to go bigger because this is a different world we live in, Fire Nation. We are living in a world where we don't know what's going to happen next month, next year. I mean, we could have total shutdowns in the future multiple, multiple times. And if and when that stuff happens, guess what? You're going to be at home in front of your computer and there's going to be ways you can take your knowledge from something like copywritersonfire.com and generate revenue for you, for your family. And by the way, in a safe way, you're not having to go out into the real world if and when that is still dangerous in the future and expose yourself potentially to these things. Like you have this opportunity to just be sitting down, you and your keyboard and making real revenue. And we have so much more coming up, Fire Nation, as soon as we get back from thanking our sponsors. Looking for a business coach who has helped thousands of entrepreneurs just like you to increase their profitability by an average of 104% per year, all for less money than it would cost to hire a full-time minimum wage employee? Fire Nation, meet Clay Clark. Clay has been coaching businesses just like yours since 2006. Yep, even through the Great Recession. And he does it for less money than it would cost to hire a full-time minimum wage employee. At a time when Inc. Magazine reports that by default, 96% of businesses will fail within 10 years, Clay is helping businesses like yours to grow on average by 104% annually. You might be wondering, how's this even possible? Well, Clay only takes on 160 clients, which means means he's able to personally design your business plan. Plus, Clay's team helps you execute that plan with access to graphic designers, Google certified search engine optimizers, web developers, online advertising managers, videographers, workflow mappers, and accounting coaches to help you get on top of your numbers. Visit thrivetimeshow.com slash fire to see thousands of video testimonials from real clients who Clay has helped over the years. Then schedule your free consultation with Clay himself to see how he and his team can help you thrive. That's thrivetimeshow.com slash fire. Fire Nation, you know that automated lead generation for your business is necessary for you to grow, but most techniques can take months to implement without even knowing if they will make a difference. That's why we've partnered with Scaling with Systems to give you a simple three-step training that teaches you how to create a cash machine for your business to spit out high-ticket clients every 6.5 days. The best part, it can be set up in under 10 minutes and has been proven by over 600 entrepreneurs in 23 industries. Inside this free training, you'll learn where to find fully trained $3 per hour virtual assistants who can send 300 to 500 pieces of outreach a day for you using this one weird email hack. The exact messaging scripts and channels they use to easily book four to five appointments in your calendar per day. The new model of finding, hiring, and training sales reps that have them closing appointments for you in 14 days and so much more. Get ready to learn how you can wake up every day to a calendar filled with qualified prospects without having to spend thousands of dollars on ads and complicated funnels. It's all in this free training. Visit scalingwithsystems.com slash cash to sign up today. That's scalingwithsystems.com slash cash. So Dan, we're back and you've been sharing just a lot, a lot of great information all around copywriting, how it's, you know, just it's so important to be able to create scalable copy that's compliant. It's what business owners are literally desperate for. We've talked about copywriters on fire.com, that free training, and we'll talk a little bit more about that in a few minutes here. But you know how to predictably and reliably turn a dollar into five dollars. And you know how to make a quote unquote doctor's income before noon. And then you can spend the rest of the day, by the way, doing things that you want. So kind of break these things down for us. Like how can we turn a dollar into five dollars? How can we make a doctor's income before noon? What are the processes? Good question. Think about it, John, back in the days, like you were talking about in, in, in this, in during this crisis, you know, how many years ago we talk about working from home, how it's such a, a, a it's such a gift. It's, it's a privilege, right? right? Now I say it's not a luxury to work from home. It's a necessity, necessity to be able to work from home. Right? For those who like, who don't have the ability, that this is just my personal belief. You don't have to buy my belief, but you know how before, no, we always talk about the, the gap between rich and poor, yeah. right? Wall Street versus Main Street. I truly believe in the next 10 years, it's the ones who are able to work from home remotely have the ability to generate income compared to those who don't. That's how I see it because now we're shifting from the the gig uh, from the job economy to really the, what I call the gig or skill economy, right? 
that being able to work remotely, it's absolutely a necessity. So to answer your your question, so if you are a business owner, because you may be thinking, well, John, Dan, I can hire a copywriter to help write. Of course you could. But by having that foundational knowledge, just like myself, I have a huge copywriting team. But then when you know who is good and who's not, be able just to have a basic understanding, then you don't have to waste money on copywriters that you know they're not good. They cannot bullshit you, right? You already know what. So even if you're not doing the work, it's good to know what is good and what is bad, the ability to tell, right? If you want to generate income now, there's so many ways to think about. I just, I shared an example with you with like email. I'll share um, a, a copywriter, real life copyright example. Okay. This copywriter writes for the keto industry, like a very niche copywriter. And that's why you want to do when you get good, you want to kind of niche down. Okay. So has a lot of experience. So there's this company that's selling a keto offer and they've been running traffic, running traffic. And now I'm going to get into it a little bit technical. We can hang in there a little bit technical that when you're running offer, when you are driving traffic, one of the most important metrics you need to know is what I call average card value. Okay. Average card value. That means for uh, X amount of buyers, you know, uh, divided by the revenue, like what's the average order value that I get? So let's say if I have an average card value of 50 bucks, $50, and I am running traffic and each customer costs me $45. Okay, that means every sale that I make, I'm losing five bucks. You with me, right? By nation, you lose five bucks if that's the case. But if I could get my average card value up where for every, 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 so, so if, so if I can, be spending 50 bucks and I'm making 50 bucks. Okay, now I'm breaking even. If I can be spending 50, I'm making 100. That's good. I'm doubling my money, right? So you're with me so far. So anyway, this keto uh, copywriter. So this company hired this keto copywriter and said, okay, our average card value right now is like 32 bucks. 32 bucks. And I want to, I just want to increase the value of that because otherwise, Every single sale, we're losing money. I want to get to like at least break even. We're talking very minor. So, hires this copywriter and said, for every dollar the landing page offer, you can help me to increase my average dollar card value. I'm going to pay you $20,000. Now, John, why would someone pay $20,000 for every dollar increase? Because it allows the offer to scale. You're not in the writing business in a revenue generating business. Boom. So this, this keto copywriter took one full day, eight hours to craft this copy, eight hours. Some one solid day of work. The client runs the offer, was able to bump the offer by $2 average card value. Two, actually $2 and somewhat cents. At the end, one day of work, this copywriter got paid $52,000. What? $52,000, one full day of work, for increasing the average card value. Now, that's a pretty good payday. Wouldn't you agree? That's a pretty good payday. Heck yeah. But I want you to think about from the client's perspective, why is he willing to write a check for $52,000 for someone to rewrite that page? Because now, guess what? He has an offer that he could go and scale and make millions because that was the bottleneck for him. So you're not getting paid by how many words. That's the people, that's a lot of people, they think, oh, writing, you know, charge per word. I'm going to give you a big one here. If you are, you want to generate high income as a copywriter, don't charge per word, don't charge per page, don't charge per hour. Now, right there, just, it's, it's, I know, usually it's mind blowing for right. most people. <laughs> well, then what do you mean? Yeah, don't charge per word, don't charge per page, don't charge per hour. If you want to make low income, that's what you do. You want high income, you want to charge a retainer, you want to charge per project or a base plus results. Right now, you're you're getting revenue share, just like a lot of funnel builders. Funnel who are funnel builders? Funnel builders are nothing more than copywriters plus they know how to set up funnels. Okay, they can charge. Like John, you knowing like how much these funnel builders charge? A lot, a lot, and they're worth it. <laughs> yeah, why? Because they generate money. They generate revenue. Yeah, that's the bottom line, right? So if they build a funnel, yeah, I pay them 15, 20K, but it generates half a million, a million. Sure, right? So 
there's so many opportunities. Really, you look at Facebook ads, you look at agency, you look at email, you look at chatbot. I love chatbot. Uh, you look at a landing page, you look at like sequence, you look at a launch. I could, I could go on and on and on, like because copy is everywhere, and every single one of those businesses, they need copywriters. They need good copywriters. People have got skills. People understand like how social media, how scalable copy works. So it's huge, and it's continuously going to be this huge demand. Where like you are, you're not going to be replaced by AI. You're not going to be replaced by technology because robots don't understand emotion. They don't understand how human beings that that one-on-one connection, that human being, that emotion it cannot be replaced. Not in a lifetime, anyway. Fire Nation, this is the powerful stuff you get when you're consuming the content from Dan Locke. This is a guy that practices what he preaches. This is a guy that's living in the real world, putting these practices to real life, and he's making real revenue as a result. So let's end strong, Dan, because we've talked a lot about what copy can do, how it can persuade, how it can scale. You know, I love that base plus results because then you're actually getting paid off a result. And that's what you're going to be giving people, Fire Nation, is results. Talk to us about copywritersonfire.com. We've already shared some great details about it, so we don't need to go into too much depth. But just really let Fire Nation know why they need to go there for that free training and what is waiting for them. So in the training, I walk you through like the opportunity, first of all, to give you an, a clear understanding how big the industry and how big the opportunity is and how you can actually set up, have a business model and position yourself in a way that you can ethically profit from this trend. And it's been around a long time, but because of social media, now it just becomes way stronger. And what are some of the ways that you can charge money? Right? What are some of the ways you can get paid? And more specifically, now I talk about compliant, but it also has different aspects, right? There are a few other components that, that I'm going to share with you as well. And I'm also going to teach you how you can make a great living, right? I'm talking about my students now doing, you know, anywhere from five figure to six figure a year income from home. Here's the kicker, John, with one client. I'm not talking about my model that I teach. It's not, I call that a one client model. I don't teach the model where you go to Upwork, freelance sites and all that, you know, try to Pfeiffer, you make $10, $20, $30, and then you got to work with hundreds of clients and, you know, being exhausted and all that, try to make a little bit of living. Like, that's not what I teach. I teach the one client model. How do you pick the right client? Well, where to find them exactly? How do you find them? How do you close them? Right? And then how do you lock in a deal? And you just, you just work with one and you, you get their voice and you just get paid. It's a very, very simple model. I like to keep things very, very simple. And then it's a win-win relationship. They want you there because you're generating a lot of revenue for them. You want to be there and you don't need to jump around. You don't need to worry about the next gig and the next gig and the next gig. Cause a lot of writers, struggling writers, they have this, you know, income roller coaster which it's not necessary if you follow my methodology. Just focus on one, right, and how you deliver enough value. Like, John, let me ask you a question. If there's a copywriter writing copy for you, bringing you, right, let's say a million, a million and a half a year in revenue, would you be comfortable? Would you be okay paying that person, let's say, 10K a month? At least, because listen, I want this person to be sharing on my success. I want them to be fired up about growing this business even more. So I want to give them a percentage of that, and I don't want them going anywhere else. That's it, right? And you know this person gets your voice, right? You know this person saves you time. And any kind of promotion, um, any new product launch that you do, you can brainstorm and right there. And so he, this person, this he or she participates, it, your your success, right? It's it's very much working together like a little partnership, and that's the power. So that's why it's not about writing, right? And every like successful business owner entrepreneur wants that. They need that, right? John wants to stay in his zone of genius, right? Connecting, asking questions, being the best interviewer, right? John, do you want to be stuck writing copy all the time? Absolutely not, brother. Right, right. But sometimes you have to, right? You do have to write some of the copy because that's, you know, what you need to do. But if you have a choice, like, no, like, I would love to have someone helping <laughs> helping me out <laughs> totally. with this, right? And, and how much written content you need. Think about your blog. Think about so all these things. So much. 
Like, give, give me some examples. What, 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 how much writing right now in the business? You have your email. Let I me mean, think about it. I've got emails going out for every single episode. That's three days per week. I've okay. got emails going out on off days for other things that I'm doing, other promotions. Yes. You know, and then we have the show notes pages themselves we have to write. Yes. Uh, we've got copy for our sales pages that we're coming up with, all joint ventures that we're doing. I'm having to create yes. all emails and stuff like this. So it's endless. It really is endless. It's endless. So that's why I said when you know how to how to find, identify, and close that client, you just need one. I don't need like 30, 50, 100 of these Pfeiffer, $5, $10 dollar clients. I just need one John, right? And, and there are a lot of entrepreneurs out there that they need that. There's so many of them. And that makes your life very simple. So that's that's the business model. And that's what I teach uh, at copywritersonfire.com. Copywritersonfire.com. I hope that this is one of those episodes, Fire Nation, you go back and you listen to a uh, number of times because Dan dropped so many value bombs. I hope you do take the action that we're giving you for this completely free training, copywritersonfire.com. Go sign up for it. You will not regret it. And plus, guess what you're going to get, by the way, like when you sign up for something, something like this? You're going to get Dan's copy, his email sequences, his sales letter. You're going to be able to learn and funnel hack and copy hack from Dan who makes millions and millions of dollars and who spends millions and millions of dollars. Like this is unbelievably priceless information, Fire Nation. So Dan, brother, thanks once again for coming back because Fire Nation knows that they're the average of the five people they spend the most time with and they've been hanging out with DL in JLD. <laughs> so keep up that heat. And Dan, once again, brother, thank you for your generosity, for your authenticity, for your transparency. For that, we salute you and we'll catch you on the flip side. Thank you. And let's set your copy on fire. Hey, Fire Nation. Today's value bomb content was brought to you by Dan and Hey, successful entrepreneurs, they accomplish big goals. That's why I created the Freedom Journal to guide you in accomplishing your number one goal in 100 days. And we are talking step by step. Visit thefreedomjournal.com. Use promo code podcast for a $15 discount. And thank you for listening to my podcast. And I'll catch you there or I'll catch you on the flip side. Fire Nation, you're trying to grow your business, but the white space in your calendar says otherwise. If you're interested in learning how you can get a virtual assistant to book you five to 10 appointments a day, then this free training is for you. Visit scalingwithsystems.com slash cash to sign up today. Scalingwithsystems.com slash cash. Looking for a business coach who has helped thousands of entrepreneurs just like you to increase their profitability by an average of 104% per year, all for less money than it would cost to hire a full-time minimum wage employee? Schedule your free consultation today with Clay Clark at thrivetimeshow.com slash fire. Thrivetimeshow.com slash fire.